Hello, and welcome to Leon's Lock Pod. And welcome. There we are. Wednesday. <laughs> Got a. Uh, Going to do a challenge lock today. I've not done one for a long time, so I thought we'd get one done. Um, this is Splinter by Bow Bill Bow uh, Bow eighty one Gavin. The usual golden nugget bag. Got a parcel as well from uh, the South, the lot from the Southampton Lot Picking Club. Well, it was my winnings. I'll show that in a minute. Let's get this lock out first. Uh, there we go. Splinter. No markings on the key or the lock, so I don't know what type of lock it could be. But uh, no, again, always makes pretty uh, tricky locks. But before we pick that, let's look at this winnings. Uh, it's already out of the packet because this thing weighs a ton. I didn't realise how big it was, but Jesus, I thought the uh, tricycle was a lump. This is a lump. This is an Asa Abloy 362 hardened. It weighs a ton. Uh, the letter he said, he said, congratulations, Liam, for being one of the lucky two of the 400 subscriber winners in our draw. Um, he also told me not to lose the key, which definitely not going to do that, mate. I've stuck it on a steel ring, as well as I've tagged it to make sure it doesn't go walkabout. Because, uh, as he was saying, if you lose this key, you ain't ever going to get another one, and it can't be duplicated. This thing is, uh, well, turn it, and it unlocks. We've got a hardened, we've got a boron shackle. This thing is absolutely massive. We've got a bigger thing here, though. Curious to see what that is. But this thing weighs a ton. I don't plan pulling it apart in any way. It's just staying as it is. Um, hopefully one day we can get this picked. Uh, we've got a modified uh, distortainer lock that uh, pick that I need to modify. Hopefully for this. But uh, this thing is absolutely huge. And the weight of it. That is a beefy lock. But um, I thank you very much, uh, lads from the Southampton Lock Picking Club uh, for sending it me. Uh, couldn't even believe I won. I even missed that I actually won when I watched the video. I had to watch it twice to realise that I had won. That's because my kids were kicking off and I, when I couldn't hear. Uh, but um, yes, so big thank you. They're great lads. I'll leave a link in the description for them um, and for Gavin. Uh, but yes, this thing is huge. Let's get that put down. Get the vice out, and hopefully, we, no. Let's put it in the right way. That would actually make it work, would it? And use a short hook and a homemade tension wrench. I can't show you the bit in as the key is mummified, but we'll see. So I hope everybody's doing well. A little bit around and my thumb's not just in the way. Uh, I'm not, I apologise, not been, well I have been trying to catch up on some videos and I have been commenting, it's just, I can't get them all done at time now, there's that many that uh, I do subscribe to and I do, I do watch your videos, don't get me wrong, I do watch them and I thumbs up on every single one. Sometimes I just don't get the time to comment on them all, that's all. I think we'll have to reset that. There we go. I don't think I'd reset it properly then. Another reset. Sorry, thumbs in the way there. Oh, 
I'm having trouble finding that, that binding pin. Let me just run the pick through there, see if the pins are anything jammed at all. Right from the top. You never know. Look at that little turn on the core then. Sorry, fingers in the way too much. Thumb, I should say. Start with one. Right, then we'll turn it on. No. A little turbo core then. Oh, uh, we've got a little bit more. So we've got something going on now. Oh, and we're open. There we go. Oh, number three. Right, so let me unzoom here. It's a little bit. Uh, we've got the key, so what we'll do is we'll lock it back up. And then we'll take off. We'll take off this. This thing is, there we go, well and truly taped up. There's the bit in. There's all nice high and lows there. Can you fit it in? Yep, and we work nice and smooth. Right, so let's get it gutted. Let's go for the foxy. Let's get a shim out just in case. You never know. Right, let's uh, let's, uh, let's get our clip remover. Ah, like an easy brass one. Yep, there we go. Let's get looking, let's get it turned slightly. Let's get this shim in. If we can get the shim in. What's that tolerance is on this lock is very good. Uh, just give me one second. We've got it in as best we can, which is like three quarters of the way. It's the best I can do. But we've done it. We've done it. We've got it through. There we go. Let's camera down. There, I'll see if I can zoom up a little bit. There we go. Is 
snow and one oh, it's like nice serrated two well those will dump them all out first and then we can have a look and five we're missing a core got it let's see what's going on here Thought it was a pin and pin then. I'm gonna take that out the way it's supposed to have come out. Oh that spring kept leaving. And that's still this ring, so it goes to the next one. Ah we on a pin and pin? No, look like a pin and pin. A spring, there we go. I think they're all standard springs. Oh, and a little shim stopping that one. Yeah, definitely all standard springs. That's up the last one actually. <laughs> Excellent work. Uh, Gavin, my friend. Let's have a close up. And this very nice work you've done. So in number one, we have a very nicely serrated keeping. Uh, we've got a spool mushroom slight muspool keeping. Uh, same with this one. It's like a mushroom style. When it comes in, well, let's just get these two turned around. There we go. We've got a really nice spooled, like mushroom style spooled in uh, three and four and five. We've got a very deep spool. In the drivers, we've got nicely serrated in one. We've got a, like a mushroom spool together in two. In three, we've got like a little T pin. This came out of the lock. The springs would be on the other side, underneath these, really. They wouldn't be on the top. And we got a standard in two, or is it? Oh no, we've got two. We've got little serrations, one at the top and bottom. It's like a, that's a barrel one. And we've got a very nice sort of stubby spool with a serration. And we've got four standard springs and one brass one, or copper one. Well, um, excellent job, Gabby, my friend. That was a fun pick. I'm going to get that sent on for you at some point. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I really enjoyed uh, that. And uh, from the lads from the Southampton Lock Picking Club, thank you very much for this thing. Hey, chunky. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'll leave the names and I'll put you description. I can do links now, so I'll put the links to Gavin's and Southampton Lock Picking Clothes channel in there. So uh, thank you very much. Please subscribe and bye. Don't forget to like.